What's up, guys? It's Johnny here from Retroplay Games, bringing you box five of six from our Mortal Ambition case break leading up to release day on Friday. Let's see what we get. I love cracking packs. I love cracking packs. Everybody loves cracking packs. It's that little hit of dopamine that you need to get yourself motivated sort cards or whatever it is that you do with your cards maybe you don't sort them maybe you just have boxes of cards that you look through when people need stuff or you need stuff like me <laughs> I get ambitious with it and then I open so much of it and it's like oh my god this is so daunting for people and like I want to put the cards up on the website and stuff too but that's why I just kind of prefer to have people send me their want lists because it's like, man, this is just so tedious to sort through. Okay, we're coming with a foil out of our first pack. Nice. Marksman Captain. Range 2 on enter. Another target unit you control becomes distant. That's cool because there is a lot of good stuff. Fractal Sparks. When there's a target champion. Yep. Seen that one already. Is this going to be our foil ultra rare box? Is this going to be our collector ultra rare Kong Ming number 69? That would be amazing. It would be nice to pull one of those to fund my endeavor into this new set. I think I'm going to have to go a couple of cases deep to get there, which I was planning on doing anyway. But did I pick the lucky case? That's the question, because of course, like I said, it's not going to be on camera when it happens. And you guys are going to be like, what the hell, man? I watched through six videos and you didn't even get a single insane card. So maybe I will make sure to passively videotape the rest of my openings, including the starter decks. There we go. Sea Flesh Serpent. Love to see that. Just in case I do end up pulling something out of the boxes that I wasn't intending on filming. Or maybe I just film literally every single box opening and keep drip feeding you videos of box openings well past release. Seems like a diabolical way to keep you guys engaged with my channel. It's better than doing a giveaway. We all know people tune in and subscribe for the giveaways and then they don't watch anymore. Kelwin's blessing. Like that. I'm so pumped to try out some more fire arts on the shenanigans. Imperial Assassin, Fractal of Insight, Beagle. seen everything yet and again I'll need the set list for that I wonder if it's I haven't checked TCG player today Fractal of Polar Depths again there's a bonkers card love that oops dropped a pack there. it's gonna be the magic pack too There's so much garbage on the floor. <laughs> That's another problem is dealing with all this stuff afterwards. Weebs, 
If you're watching this, please, please, please consider doing the paper packs that um, Flesh and Blood does. Not that there's any problems with opening these like there were with the uh, cellophane plastic-esque packs that Fab had. Those were hard to open, same as some of the other packs. You guys have the nice rip tear thing on there, which is awesome. But if you could go to paper packs, it would be so much easier to dispose of all of the leftover stuff by tossing it in my fire pit. Plus, a lot more environmentally friendly. Maybe something to discuss with the printing slash production company. Promising recruit. I think that's a play set of those. Lots of uh, curling resistance introduced into these foils, which I'm happy to see because actually I had a fat pack box that I was keeping all of my foils in and I opened them up for the first time in a while and they are Pringles. So I'm glad to see that some steps are being taken with a hilarious demonstration from Shinja TM32 where they <laughs> cooked a card cooked some cards in a rice cooker <laughs> to show the uh curl resistance from the new new card stock new foiling process is super funny <laughs> i love that they get creative with their stuff are we going to have the opportunity to get foil Spirits in this set? And if so, how much is it going to cost me to get a set of them? Bring down the mighty. That's one thing that I love trying to do is foiling out my material deck. And getting, getting your hands on some of the original foil champions is like, oh my god. I try to get a hold of some whenever possible so that I can at least have the level 1 through 3 lineage foiled. But like Foil Lorraine level 1, $300, $400 US, bonkers. Sylvie, Rye, all of those original champions. It was first edition Dawn of Ashes only. Blue Bay, Oathkeeper. Which those boxes are insanely expensive for anyone who knows uh, or has been in the market or looked at those. They are not cheap to get your hands on. Case of them, especially. And I saw Caben uh, at our London Regional. What the hell? I had a phone call come in there. Caben at our London Regional. Ooh. Prep counter from the champions. Too sweet. And that's on attack too, so that's nice. A recurring. Uh, Opportunity for extra damage there. Gossamer Jade, there we go. So that's almost a playset of Gossamer Jade, which is good because I really like that mechanic to just lock out your opponent from attacking based on the counters you've accumulated there. But anyway, what I was saying is that Caven purchased a case of um, first edition Dawn of Ashes. Pulled, I think he got the Sylvie Collector Ultra Rare out of it. I was sorely tempted to pick it up, but it was just beyond my budget at that point in time. So good on him though, getting those curves. Cur Eternal Garrison, which again I think should be Guardian because that would be bonkers. Another ally enters the field under your control. Yeah, you could do Foster and oh man, all sorts of shenanigans would be possible with that. Quite sweet. Cool artwork. I love the art from this set. I love Eastern influenced artwork and architecture and all that kind of stuff. So this stuff is right up my alley as well. Granted, again, I'm more familiar with Japanese mythology and language and stuff like that culture than I am the Chinese stuff. But this definitely makes me want to spend some time learning about it. Go into leisure to see where these you know, inspiration for this stuff comes from. Because China has a cool incredibly long storied history rich culture thousands and thousands of years so. 
love to visit too. It's uh, definitely a bucket list trip for me. I did Japan, I wanna do Korea, China. Looked at Vietnam, seen it even tied. And uh, China, like I said, is for sure on my bucket list. So I'm pretty pumped to see what that's like when I get a chance to go. I haven't pulled the ultra rare yet out of the stack the packs. I think we've hit the ultra rare on uh, Landscape Corsair. Or you're human, Kong Ming. You may change the direction of your ship and currents in a different direction. Yeah, so I think the shifting currents is definitely going to be a Kong Ming exclusive thing. Warrior human. That's Kong Ming bonus. Two, three. So that's pretty, pretty intense. Um, numbers for mage in terms of an ally. Is this going to be the box where we're going to get that foil ultra rare? There we go. We've got the play set of the Fletched Serpent Proof of Life. Next time your champion would take damage this turn, they take double that damage instead. Then on 40 plus damage, banish this card from your graveyard. Oh my god. That's insane. Damage 40 plus. I'll do in response to your double fireball, I'll uh, proof of life. Banish this card from your graveyard. Wake up your champion. That's crazy. Hey, another heavenly guide. There we go. Wow, we're halfway there. Getting a playset. Which is great, because if it's anything like Academy Guide, which so far it doesn't seem like it is, well, I don't know. In what case, we might have a glut of heavenly guides. We'll see, though. No ultra rares yet so far, though. So we've got a third foil. Still no ultra rare. I wonder. Ooh. Bone of Frost is a foil. Look at that. Super cool artwork. Rippleback Terrapin. Promising recruit. There we go. I think I called it. That's our playset right there. At least if we didn't have them before. Begin your end phase. Put a buff counter. Promising recruit. That's going to be crazy. not going to take too too long for that to just get totally out of control and it's level two up too so you could potentially abuse that with tamer by using the um level buffing abilities and just keep it alive we've gotten our three foils than light, I don't think we're going to be seeing. Our foil ultra rare in this box. But stranger things have happened, like I said, is on average so but i am oops i am getting a little bit scared that there hasn't been an ultra rare thus far because there's only a couple of packs left so <laughs> insight Oh, 
though that's not as big of a deal now with that one regalia. Oh, okay. Even turns here. Full arm. One of the pump controls two of my arrested units to activate the Ooh, okay. Getting those extra weapons. We got what? Two packs left here, guys. <laughs> there better be an ultra rare. I would be sorely disappointed if there was not an ultra rare. Getting a little scared. Lava Soul Tiger, nice. Exeocyte. Whoa! Dongjo, False Liege. Look at that guy. Intercept, don't enter, rest. If you do, choose two. Deal three damage. Oh my god. That's crazy. Guardian, Mage, Human, Class, Bonus. That's super cool, too, especially with Guardian. Oh, wait, but it's Terra. Okay, I should read the element first. So, Mage, Class, Bonus. Rest, Dongjo, if you do. So, there's uh, Kong Ming's board wipe as needed. That's cool. I love the artwork, too. Guys, like the full arts, man. I, I, know, I hope my camera is good enough quality that it's doing some justice in video here but you are going to have a treat when you get your hands on your ultra rares I thought that was wind so not Terra so I was like ooh okay cool especially in Guardian bounce 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 ooh Phalanx Captain made a comeback eh? I don't think we've seen one of those yet maybe I just haven't been paying attention impressive presence on the turn, players can declare attacks on pay X for each attack activation. Fire allies you control. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Okay, here we go. We got one more box. Guys, once again, thanks for tuning in. Hopefully, this is an innovative idea and everybody is sticking with it to see what we end up getting out of this case. So this was box five of six super cool ultra rare there so far no duplicates of ultra rares which is what i like to see although i'm gonna need play sets of a lot of this stuff which is kind of scary so we'll see how it goes throughout the entirety of my openings but once again guys thanks for tuning in please like and subscribe to get updates on the latest content coming to you from retro play games and i will see you tomorrow for box six leading up to release of mortal ambition thanks guys